lot of people you talk to, a lot of people you talk to have sort of checked out. There comes a time you're about, and you're 25, you're about 25 or older, and life really doesn't change too much. If you stop reading books, if you stop meditating, if you stop like working on your game, talking about game and talking to women, keeping sharp on, you know, approaching, a lot of guys just fall into relationship. You get real stagnant. You don't you don't change. Your brain is is sort of molded into your beliefs are concrete. You're going to kind of believe the same things. Unless something comes along and shatters that reality, then you're going to really stay in that position um, with the same, a lot of the same worries that you have now. So a lot of people don't really attack those worries head on, those problems. They sort of just elude them or, or just do enough to get by. That way, you know, life is bearable. It, it's, it's bearable enough. So when someone comes along that maybe it's a friend or maybe it's you maybe let's just say it's you you're here the monk mode journey you're taking on all the stuff that we talk about you're you're making some new changes in your life you're going you're going to school for the first time you're moving away from home you get a dorm room and soon you realize the people in college are different and i i felt this way back in high school i felt different i felt different because i cared i cared a lot about stuff i cared a lot about doing the right thing. I cared a lot about, and this was sort of brought on to me from Christianity and the morals, the virtues that were taught to me from my parents, from the church. And so when I entered this realm of people that were, you know, they gave no fucks about that kind of stuff. Sex, drinking, partying, listening to secular music. It's like, my brain was kind of like, whoa, watch out for that. Something's there that's going to that's gonna pull you away from this path that is right. And so as I got older, it, the beliefs definitely changed. I, I stopped looking at it from a moral, uh, religious standpoint. I still, I still wanted to be moral, but it was no longer of a threat of like going to hell. That's what I'm saying. It wasn't like, I'm, if I do this, I'm going to go to hell. It was just like, I realized if, if I do these things too often... I get too caught up in this and that. I will be in a physical hell on earth. It's not like I got to wait to die and then go to hell. It's like my life could be hell now. And so I got a glimpse of that. I got a glimpse of being poor and being without any direction and being without friends, being without mentors, being without energy. And so I really wanted to change that because... Leading up to that, man, I was like feeling like a pimp. <laughs> I was I was feeling good. I was like this young warrior, the hero on the journey. And then things change. Things change subtly without you really being fully aware of them. And what comes back is like the habits that you've in, that you've built up and you've ingrained. So what I noticed though is people when they see you being different not a lot of people want that. Not a lot of people like someone that's shaking things up very much. And so they've lost that hungry. Uh, they've lost the hunger. They've lost the, the drive. And so they're so hungry. And what do they feed themselves? They feed themselves excuses. They feed themselves excuses because that's all they have to eat, man. And so part of staying hungry with your life is to keep going to keep training, to keep practicing. We've been talking about that lately. I think it's so important because it's so easy to drift. It's so easy to forget the basics. What keep you solid and grounded as a man, like your energy levels. Your energy levels, doing the simple things, going for walks, getting enough sleep. It's like we get, it's easy to get caught up in a whirlwind of doing so much stuff and you're hardly doing anything it's you stop pushing the boundaries you stop exploring you stop putting your mind and, and the knowledge like putting yourself out there your feelers and oh you get burned a little so you go back you're 
you rethink it, right? And then you go back out with this new knowledge and you're sort of constantly course correcting. You're, you're visualizing where you want to be. You're imagining how that is. And it's like some people just stop doing that. I don't want to stop doing that. I want to keep pushing and I want you guys to keep pushing. And so I just know that there's people that don't want to play the game. They don't want to do this. A lot of people don't even know how to do this. And that's when you get these guys that are, they'll give you these little jibes. They'll sort of try to get into your head mentally. And a very, very, uh, it's very powerful to understand why a lot of people do the things that they do. And people treat other people badly. People treat other people um, sort of with hate or when they don't agree with them don't agree with them and so you're a threat and, it, and it's it's weird because some people are very conservative very stuck in in where they are like they had their life created they don't want you come around talking about certain stuff it's just like leave me alone and so like you leave them alone they they found a way to make their life happy but there's some people that are just bent on giving you shit <laughs> been on giving you shit man you can't let that happen it's like smile and wave boys smile and wave let it just keep going stay strong and just, again some people don't know any some people haven't even experiment experimented enough to like they're just stuck in that sort of boyhood there was no transition that's the one thing that we're dealing with is like the transitional state from boyhood to manhood there's no more rituals or ceremonies right there's no great hunts that you go on you come back after you slayed this beast um and so part of what we're facing is similar to that it's like well what do i do and what it, and then you find something to do and does what you do benefit yourself and does it benefit your family does it benefit others are you just doing something just to sort of benefit your own life and that's you know you got to look at it you got to kind of adjust your compass to where you want to aim i just i think thinking is so important thinking and writing writing isn't is a very good practice to get in because the whirlwind is real dude momentum is real whether or not the momentum's taking you in a direction of like full speed ahead and right where I want to be going or full speed ahead in this pile of shit just lay my head down to sleep in a pile of bullshit <laughs> so don't give up and yeah we we deal with that shit man we deal with what do I do what a big question what a huge question who knows who knows what you're supposed to do, but it's important to keep trying things. It's important to gather with other men. It's important to think, like we're doing now, time alone. It's important to read. It's important to go on walks, to listen to audiobooks about other men and their accomplishments in their lives, their biographies, women. It's important to not be so naive it's important to realize what you're capable of and not let people push you around. Oh, there's a lot of important things, right? <laughs> there's a lot of basics, I guess you could say, that you want to get back to. And so you sort of monitor this state of like, how am I doing over here? How is over here? How's this? Ty Lopez mentioned this health, wealth, love, and happiness, the four pillars. We all want it. So when one dips, well, got to bring it back up. If, you know, if these two are good, but my relationship sucks, it's like, well, what's it's gonna affect this one, this one, and this one. So I gotta bring it, gotta bring it back up. I gotta learn. I gotta learn. So we're constant students of the world, constantly adapting and transforming. That's really all, man. I've been thinking about this a lot lately. Thinking about really tightening things up. All right, bros.
I hope you have a great night. Recently started taking ashwagandha. Not recently, I've been taking this shit for years. What am I talking about? Ashwagandha. It literally is uh, uh, in the Sanskrit, it was like a word used to describe the smell of a horse. Um, yeah, man, bring the energy. Let's just bring the energy this month. We're, it's the seventh day of September, and we're going to just keep bringing the energy. Monitor that energy. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.